tough night for our guys. Uh, definitely a good uh, learning experience. Um, credit to Bournemouth. I uh, thought they put a lot into the game. Uh, their ability to, to press us all over the field. Um, their commitment, their organization was, was excellent. Um, they're a team that uh, took their chances very well. They probably could have had more goals, if I'm being honest, on the night. Um, and for our guys, it's a, a big lesson learned. You know, there's a whole nother level uh, of, of technique, of, you know, work. Uh, again, because they're not just good on the ball. They also put the, put the dirty running in. And, and for a team in the preseason that is, you know, going into the Premier League, uh, they're hungry. And you can tell that they showed that. And I thought both groups, their, their first 45 and their second 45, uh, pressed us and made it very uncomfortable. Um, we didn't have a lot of the ball. A um, few bright spots would be probably Ayuk. I thought his performance was good. I thought he was up for the game. Um, aside from that, not a lot of positives to take from it. Um, you do learn a lot. You know, you learn a lot about certain guys that, you know, are in the 11, that aren't in our starting 11, um, and, and where they stand and where they fall uh, against real good competition. So I thought the exercise was great. Again, credit to Bournemouth, a uh, very, very strong team, uh, a team that's going to, I think, have a, have a good year. You know, I, again, it's always early, but at the same time, that was uh, an impressive performance from them. And uh, credit to Eddie uh, for having them ready to play. And I, and I know they're actually even on tired legs, too, so um, because they've been doing two a day each day. So. Um, you know, again, you try to take some positives and you, you learn from it. You like to measure yourselves against the top teams. And, and you know, we came up short for sure. Um, didn't create a lot and never really made them uncomfortable. Mark Jim, can it help you playing this kind of fast paced game though? I mean, as you get back into your MLS play? Yeah, of course. You know, again, y you see how quickly they close the ball down. Uh, the biggest thing is their decision making on the ball. So when to, when to dribble, when to pass, when to shoot first one to take a guy on, um, they make the right decisions uh, more times than not. Um, we do also sometimes, but it's not consistent enough. Um, you know, I thought through the course of 90 minutes, we put together a, a couple good spells, but it was never uh, over a long period of time where they could kind of sustain it for, for 90 minutes and good, good decision making, uh, moving the ball. But yeah, it, it helps us for sure with our, our season. Uh, no teams right now in MLS press like that and close the ball down like that and have the big physical bodies that they do. Everyone always wants to say that you know, MLS is such a big, strong, fast athletic league. Um, you know, I think we have some players that were in that mold, but these guys are a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger and uh, a little bit faster. But again, you learn from it and uh, you, you try to try to move on. Ryan, uh, considering Mo was out Saturday, yeah. uh, Ethan seemed to play a pretty big role in this game. Did yeah. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to get, yeah, we wanted to play Ethan uh, next to Richie, get them, uh, you know, reacclimated with each other. Um, they, they, they know each other well, obviously from the preseason. And obviously, this season they played some games together. Um, coincidentally, they paired together against uh, uh, Toronto for a pretty good spell there and did a good job, I thought, on Josie and Giovinco. Um, with Josie coming back from the Gold Cup, I, 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 I believe he will factor in that game. So. Obviously, two top forwards that we'll have to deal with, and our center backs will have to be on on top of their game. Um, you know, and, and Ethan's a guy that's been through the battles, and, and I think uh, you know him and Richie will, will get it together. We have a couple of days of training now uh, to work through some things, but uh, yeah, I think that's a it could be a good pairing. John, third row. You started Zach Pfeffer in central midfield today. Is that a position you see him playing in the future? Yeah, I, I like Zach uh, centrally. You know, with Chaco playing uh, as well as he is, sometimes Zach bumps out wide um, you know I think I think Zach's best suited in the in the role that Chaco plays the number 10 role um, I think he can play out wide and create some uncomfortable situations for the defenders when he comes off the forwards because he's comfortable on the ball can turn and, and go at you um, and his best quality is he's, he's good around the goal um, we didn't get him too many looks tonight he was a little deeper um, had to do a lot of dirty running but there's a there's a, a fitness element to it as well that we get out of Zach in this game, a game like this where now you can build his awareness of, you know, sometimes in the free roll of the number 10, it's not as defensive minded. Uh, tonight he had to have his head on a swivel. So I think he learned a lot and the pace of it was good for him. And I think the tempo uh, drove his fitness to uh, another level. And then, you know, we all look, can look in the mirror as players. And one thing you control is how in shape you are. And uh, again, you see a team like that that's fit. I think we're a fit team, but I think there's a whole nother level of fitness that we can go to. And I think Zach builds a little bit of that playing in that defensive role tonight. Uh, on 
Saturday you're playing the most informed player in MLS right now. Yeah. How do you plan without Mo to stop? Jimmy? Right. Yeah. No. I mean, from you know Monday, I, I talked with the guys, and you know obviously the the New York City and Toronto game end to end four to four. Uh, Giovinco scores three goals in nine minutes, misses a penalty, hits the post twice, and had a, a, a good another good look that he was actually mad at himself. So that I think what was that seven goals I just could have named there. So, uh, yeah, he's in form. He's the uh, most dangerous player in our league right now. Um, the goal is to not let him beat you. You know, you want to have other guys beat you. If, if they do, you, you know, you can tip your cap. But you don't want the superstar to beat you. So we'll do a good job of getting bodies around him, trying to deny him the ball the best we can. But he is obviously the... The main focus for uh, for Toronto's attack. Mike, this is the first time we've seen Steven Vittori in a while. How do you assess uh, how he played tonight and where he is? Yeah, he's coming back off of injury. Uh, I, I don't think it was a great game uh, for any of our defenders. Um, they got put in some tough situations, but at the same time, uh, you know, he's getting himself back. It's a hot night. He finally gets 45 minutes of live action under his belt. I think it's positive in that regard. But, uh, you know, there's still room to, to improve for sure um, in terms of stepping with the line, you know, turning quicker, uh, you know, not dropping too deep in the penalty box and being a little more aggressive. Um, some of that comes when as you're getting back into live action and getting used to your, used to your uh, surroundings again. Um, so it's a process, but uh, it's a good first step. Can you talk about um, some of the young guys you got, that you brought in the second half? They looked like they were pressing a little bit. Um, trying to make something happen where maybe it wasn't. Yeah, I think in these situations, everybody wants to, to show that they uh, belong in the, the 18 first and then in the 11. So, um, yeah, there's always a, a risk of trying to do too much and trying to, to show uh, the staff that, you know, you belong in the first team and sometimes you can make some mistakes. But I like young, I like young uh, players that will take some risks, you know. Um, we're still the you know fourth youngest team in MLS, so we have a young group. Um, I play young players, uh, and I think that some of them stepped up tonight and did well, and some of them learned you know uh, some lessons because uh, Bournemouth has a team of, of men. They've they've won uh, in a very tough league and, and, and worked their way up uh, to the Premier League, the best league in the world, uh, and and did so with the 53 uh, plus 53 goal differential last season. So. They can score some goals. Uh, they can defend it. And uh, I think for our young guys to play against them was uh, a good experience.